Welcome to this short overview of the Land Guardian Intrusion Detection and Network Behaviour Analysis features. So I'm logged on to my Land Guardian, clicked on Network Security Dashboard, and this dashboard is available by default when you install the Land Guardian software. When in the dashboard, I'm going to focus first on the left hand column, and I'm going to go to Events by Signature. If I click on the arrow here, it loads up the complete report, so I get all the detail. And let's scroll down. So we've got a lot of events triggered on the network, a lot of Priority 1 events, and these are events which can impact on more than one user. So we've got some hosts which are down, so we've got some servers which are off the network at the moment. And we've, the second event here is NetScan, so somebody is scanning the network. Let's scroll across, click on the plus, and then choose the option to break down by source. So who is the source of the problem? So in this case, it's just a single machine. It looks like that's a local machine as part of my local subnet. I drill down on that. And let's see what this machine has been doing. Okay, so this machine here has been scanning the network on port 445, which is associated with Microsoft services. It's scanning a local IP range here, and it's occurred at this date and time. This machine is a user PC. This scanning a network from Microsoft hosts is very suspicious. This probably has got some sort of a Windows worm. It could be something brand new that has just come out, but it certainly is something that needs to be investigated. The machine needs to be taken off the network while it's checked. Let's get the username as well so we can call the user and tell them we're going to just check their machine out. So this is the username here. In this case, it's just a username called somebody. So this machine belonged to this user, needs to be checked out because it looks like it's got some sort of a worm or it's, it's scanning the network for some unknown reason. Let's go back to the dashboard and pick something else out. So as you can see, with just two clicks, we can drill down and focus in on a particular client, a particular username. Going to go back to the events by signature element here. And I notice here we've got some conflict worm on the network. Let's drill down on that. So again, we click on the plus. Who's the source of the problem? So we have nine machines on the network infected with conflict worm. Let's drill down on that and just get some detail as to when it was when it was first detected. So we have the date and time here when this machine was first detected with conflict worm. And let's get the usernames associated with all of this activity. So Bill here, Karen, Wendy, Leslie, these all their machines have got the conflict worm, needs to be checked out. What you're looking at here is an example of intrusion detection. The description here is very it's more specific. It actually tells us it's got conflictor. And it's using a signature, intrusion detection signature to detect this. The signatures are updated. Um, Langardian checks our website every hour, so you're always up to date, very much like the way your antivirus works. If you want, you can actually even drill down to look at the packet. So if you want to do some really low-level forensics, you've got the network packet here. You've got Ethernet addresses, you've got IP header, you've even got the, the, the payload or the packet, the packet content. Here's the signature that triggered the event, and you can write your own signatures. Um, you can tune them. You can, you can, as I said, write your own and add, add them to your own customized signature list on the Land Guardian. So that's an example of intrusion detection and also network behavior analysis. So let's take a look at a few more things on my dashboard. We've got users here which are running the BitTorrent application. And let's see what they're trying to download. So it looks like just Red Hat Linux. That's fine. Somebody obviously just wants to install a new OS. The reason I'm focusing on this, because if they're trying to download films or um, maybe they're trying to download some music and it's copyright material, it could impact the network because we could be blacklisted by our ISP. Ubuntu Studio 8, that's fine. Again, that's something that one of our users needs to have. It's not copyright material, so that's okay. So those two machines um, downloading some stuff via BitTorrent, but it's okay. We've got um, over here towards the right then, we've got Connections coming through our firewall. So this particular element, let's drill down on it. This element here is, taking, is looking at any connections which are inbound through my firewall. It's using a filter, what we call a filter. So the client uh, filter is where we put in all our subnets on our network and we put an exclamation mark, which means not. So show me any clients not part of my network connecting to services which are on my network. So what is coming through the firewall? We've got two ports open on the firewall. Let's drill down on the SQL activity. I didn't think we had SQL open here. So we've got an external client connecting inbound. Okay, so let's see what machines it's connecting to. So it's connecting to one of our production SQL servers. 
that looks to be quite suspicious. We didn't, I didn't think we had any SQL open on the firewall. So I want to take a look at other activity associated with this client. It's going to copy the IP address and pop it up into the new LangGuardian search bar. Click on search. Let's get got an extra space in there, I think I do. So let's click on search. Let's see what else do we know about this IP address. Okay, so it looks like here we do see the SQL -like traffic, but this machine is also associated with Bit BitTorrent, some network news transfer protocol, and some servers running at 4662. So let's see who is connecting to it via BitTorrent. We drill down and we get the full picture. Okay, so number of clients on my network, and these are the ones which we spotted earlier on running BitTorrent. They're connecting to this external host and they're downloading some data. Now it looks like this machine is, is in turn trying to connect back into our network. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to update our firewall rule. We're going to block this IP address. Any inbound connections coming from this IP address, we're going to block. Um, it looks quite suspicious. Shouldn't be trying to connect through looking for SQL servers on our network here. And all of this information, I've, I've done quite a bit of analysis here, and it's all been done straight from the network security dashboard. On the left, I've been focusing on some events, some intrusion detection, some network behavior analysis. And on the right, to be more specific, I wanted to take a look at stuff coming through the firewall. The other thing I want to check out when I drill down on the events by signature is I noticed that Bill, one of our users on the network here, has got the conflicker worm. And I want to take a look now and see, well, okay, what else, what other sort of problems has Bill got on his PC? So we type his username in at the top here, do a search for the user. And let's see what else Bill is up to, what, what other events Bill is triggering, and what other activity he's generating on the network. So he's generated over 1.6 gigabytes data over the last couple of hours. He's triggered some events, and this is what I'm interested in. I'm going to click on the priority ones. So we picked up earlier on that he had the conflict worm, we spotted that, but he also has got spam originating from his PC, some peer-to-peer, -peer, some SQL brute force, some uh, he's modifying Cisco devices. So there's quite a bit going on here. So Bill's PC needs to be taken off the network as well. There's a couple of things we need to do. In fact, the recommendation here is probably to re-image or you know, a new OS install. He's got too many problems here. The risk of putting this PC back on the network is too high. So we need to contact Bill. We need to get him over to the support desk. We need to get his PC sorted. And this dashboard updates automatically. Let's hide the navigation bar here. It's something you can put up on the wall. It updates as new information comes in. So if you clear machines, the events will drop off here. If you, you, know, you install new antivirus to get rid of conflicker, these events will go away. And if something new happens, a new threat, new vulnerability, somebody connecting through your firewall, it all appears on the dashboards. Okay, thank you for listening.